Hey everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Jonah. I'm a physical therapist out of Toronto, that's in Canada. Today we're going to be taking a look at joint mobility and stability, comparing what makes them similar, what makes them different, having a couple examples that make it easier. Let's get into it. The first thing we're going to define here is joint mobility. Put nice and simply, joint mobility is how far the two surfaces of the joint can move on one another before they're acted on basically by forces from outside the joint. Usually joints that are very mobile have a high range of motion, which makes sense, right? If you're more mobile, you can move a little bit further. Joint stability, on the other hand, refers to the resistance that's created by tissues surrounding the joint to keep it in its place. There's other factors that come into play, but for today's simplicity, let's think of it just as that, how well that joint stays in place based on the surrounding tissues. These joints that are more stable tend to have not as high of a range of motion than their more mobile counterparts, but are a little better held together. Example time. Let's talk about a joint that's more mobile than it is stable. For an example, we're going to use the glenohumeral joint or the shoulder. Why the shoulder, you may be asking. Most people tend to have one shoulder at minimum, or if they don't, at least know somebody that does. While it's well understood that the shoulder is one of the most mobile joints in the body, there may be some of you at home who don't quite believe me. If that's the case, I'd like you to raise your hand. So, based on our definitions we talked about earlier, when I see that the shoulder joint is more mobile than it is stable, you can start to picture a joint that moves around a lot, but held together well, it is not. Does that count as a joke? Let's think of the shoulder as an ant. You know, that ant in the family who's always traveling, moving around. Let's call her Aunt Cindy for absolutely no reason. Now, Aunt Cindy sure has been a lot of places and she can pick up and travel the world whenever she wants to. Nothing ties this lady down. But this does mean that whether it's because she's out of the country at the time, she's strapped for cash that month, or Aunt Cindy is what Aunt Debbie likes to call um, volatile, a complete flake, and someone who's been emotionally sabotaging all of their relationships for the past 15 years because they just can't seem to settle down and stick with any one person. And there was that one person all that time ago that was Steve, but everyone likes Steve, but Steve never stuck around because everything was just so up and down. And Aunt Cindy took that trip down to Peru. Yeah, Aunt Cindy isn't exactly a model of stability. But then again, neither is the shoulder. Get it? This doesn't mean that joint mobility is a bad thing. We need to have mobile joints throughout the body. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to grab something off the top shelf. In the same way, this doesn't mean Aunt Cindy is a bad person. We need those mobile joints to grab things off the shelf. We need people to go travel the world and take pictures on Instagram. The world needs these things. Now, let's talk about a different joint. Let's move into the hip. The hip favors stability over mobility more than the shoulder. As you may have noticed from your own, or kind of guess based on what we're talking about here, sacrifices some of those bigger ranges of motion in favor of being more sturdily held together. It's a joint that moves less than the shoulder for sure, but one that's more stable, it's safe to infer. I really didn't enjoy that. Compared to the shoulder, the hip is more of an Aunt Susan than an Aunt Cindy. Aunt Susan has never left the town she was born in outside of that ski trip that one time in grade six. She has been a stay-at-home mom since she left high school. If Aunt Susan's kids ever ask her to go on a trip overseas, they get a one-way ticket to house detention for children. But dinner is always ready on time and Aunt Susan has never missed a Little League game or been thrown out of one, Cindy. Joints that favor stability over mobility or are more stable than mobile doesn't mean they're better, doesn't mean they're worse. They're different. We have to have these different joints throughout the body. Aunt Susan's not a better aunt than Aunt Cindy. I would just rather go there for dinner because she's probably going to be there. Hopefully that helped clarify joint mobility versus stability through some very uh, relevant illustrations, maybe. I don't know. Depends on what your answer like. Guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for sticking around. If there are things you would like to have a physiotherapist talk about that you'd like to ask a physiotherapist, please drop them in the comment section below. I would really appreciate the feedback. You could also put down there things that you liked, things that you didn't like. What's your favorite dog? It doesn't matter. This is your keyboard. This is whatever you want to do. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like and subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again.